Hi, my name is Andrea Hensley, and I've been coming to Living Water Christian Church for a little over 10 years. Um, I've always felt the Spirit as soon as I walked through the door the first time I ever came here, and um, I just love the church and um, love the fact that we truly love everybody. Hi, I'm Russell Dickison, and I believe I've been going here about eight years. Um, the thing that got me to come here to begin with was I had driven up and down 45 highway past this church off and on through the years and I had seen all the signs out front and I believe at the, at the time there was gay and straight, meat eater and vegetarian, Republican and Democrat and tattooed or pierced or both. And I always thought, is that really who these people are? And eventually I got to the point where I was looking for a new church and I decided to come here and I found out hands down that's who these people were. Um, and, and one of my biggest joys in my time here at Living Water Christian Church is finding all of the layers that that's true and hearing all of the stories from all of the different people who have come here who have said, this is why this church was different for me. This is why I felt accepted here here when I didn't feel accepted elsewhere. My name is John Nutt. My wife and I have been coming to Living Water uh, for a little over a year now. Uh, what I like about Living Water is you get a feeling when you walk in of warmth that everybody truly is welcomed with love. And uh, I felt that the first, the first time we were here for a service. My name is Mark Collins and I'm one of the original members of Living Water and things that I like what like love about living water is the feeling of when we first came up up, up here to the to, to the site and just the feeling that this is where God wanted us and just and just how living water takes accepts people no matter who they are no questions asked and just the feeling of family. My favorite part about Living Water Christian Church is just a super open, loving community um, and the relationships that I've been able to grow over the last 10, however many years I've been attending. And I think it's just really special to have a church like that. This is Danny and Tara Marshall. We've been going to Living Water for about six months. When we walk through the door, we just feel surrounded by love and it lifts our spirits and we just feel happy. Thank you. <laughs> That's our D&D &D community saying thank you. I'm Laura Guy, the founding pastor of Living Water Christian Church. And the vision for the church is actually very closely connected to the name of the church, Living Water Christian Church. Um, and thinking about what kind of new church was God calling us to create. The story of Jesus and the woman at the well in John 4 kept coming up over and over again in my time of prayer. And I realized that that is an incredible story. It's actually the longest conversation Jesus has in the Gospels. And it's a conversation that never should have happened. Um, everything about this woman made her the other from who Jesus was. And yet he went to a place where he knew she would be and engaged her in this deeply theological conversation that changed her life. And then of course she went back to town and told a bunch of other people and they came and their lives were changed too. And that was our model for ministry and our, our vision of what Living Water Christian Church could be. People who could um, go out as Jesus did and meet people where they are and engage them in conversations about things that really matter and introduce them to Jesus and, uh, and then have their lives changed because of that living water that he offers us. Hey everyone, I am so grateful to be the lead pastor of Living Water Christian Church. It was interesting when I applied for this job, my mother had actually gone online and found this church and she knew I wanted to be a part of an open and affirming church and she found Living Water and I, talked to a couple of my friends who were in the Disciples of Christ and decided just to throw my name in the hat, thinking that if they really knew all of my background, they probably wouldn't want me. So when I interviewed with the uh, team here and the council and the church, uh, I really just kind of tried to lay all of my stuff. I could use a different word, but we'll just say stuff. I tried to lay all of my stuff out 
the good, the bad, and particularly the ugly. And I remember when I did like a two hour interview with the council, I drove home, called my dad and I thought, dad, I gave them so much stuff that I think I probably just scared them away. But they invited me to be the lead pastor. And I thought, well, this is a courageous church who really does accept everybody. And if you listen to all these interviews that we've done, this, these quick, quick little snippets, uh, that is the big thing here. We really welcome everybody. Everybody belongs. And that's true whether you're gay or straight, whether you're an introvert, extrovert, whether you uh, love to rock climb and mountain bike, or if you love to sit and listen to a symphony, or you like punk rock, or you like jazz, we are here. We love M-U-K-U. We love people, period. And so uh, that's really what we're about. Love God, love your neighbor, love yourself, and let's go out and change the world with love. And I am so grateful for Laura Guy and the foundational vision of this church, the woman at the well and how she shared about that. And I think that we've got a bright future because we all need each other. And there's people who need a loving, gracious, kind, beautiful community of people who love Jesus and want to share the love of Jesus with everybody that they meet. We need each other. We do better together. And that's what we're about here. We want to love people no matter what. It's love, period. Fierce love with God's grace, God's love, God's kindness, God's generosity, God's creativity. We're about that. And we want to share the living water of Jesus with people everywhere. So thanks for being a part of Living Water. And if you're not already, come and join us. We'd love to have you. God bless you. We're looking forward to a great future as we continue to receive and give and share the living water of Jesus.